Hello YouTube! Welcome to Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works. It is Tuesday and I am Banded Wendy and I'm here to talk about this week's topic. I want to thank each and every one of you who have been making response videos. That rocks. Uh, this week's topic is about goals. And yes, we've talked about goals. Uh, and the question is, have you made new goals? And are you setting goals for the future? Where do you want to be in 10 years? Where do you want to be in 20 years? Where do you want to be in 50 years? So, uh, I went back and looked at my goals. I have them hanging in my office. Um, and I just want to say that the four major goals I have in place for 2010, we talked about these back in, I think, January or early February, I have not met yet. Um, number one was reach my goal weight of 145 pounds. This week, I'm one year post-op with the lap band, and as of today, I'm 169 pounds, so I've lost 75 pounds. Uh, I have 24 more pounds to go to get to that goal, so um, I have a renewed energy uh, to meet that goal. Second, I have showed you my green Japanese dress. Um, I still have the goal to wear that dress. Uh, it's probably going to take me getting to my goal weight to fit into the thing, but it hangs in my kitchen, so I'm constantly reminded of that goal. The third was to look in the mirror and like what I see, or to look at one of these videos and like what I see, or to look at a photo and like what I see. I like myself a lot more today than I did a year ago when I look at those pictures or a video or um, a mirror. I'm still not 100% happy, but uh, someone I know um, who's seven years post-op says you're never going to be happy, or I'm never going to be happy, even with weight loss surgery, with regards to your body. So, I don't know, never-ending journey maybe, but uh, I'm working on it and I'm real close to getting there. And then my last one was to run six 5Ks this year. I ran three last year. Um, I'm happy to report that I'm uh, halfway to that goal. I've already ran three, and it's only March. I have a fourth one scheduled for May. And uh, I already have three booked up for the rest of the, uh, the end of the year, October, November, and December. So that'll be seven. So I will end up overachieving. How about that? Um, so those are my goals. I'm still working towards them. And I'm not really making new ones until I get through those. And, and for me, this is all about weight loss surgery. This isn't about finances or career uh, or relationships. It's just about the relationship with myself and getting down to my goal weight and then staying there. Um, but, I, but I want to mention that every day for me on this weight loss journey, it's renewed spirit. Uh, and I renew goals every day. I stick to the weight loss surgery rules for success that are um, specified for lap band patients. Protein first. That takes effort, and that's a goal of mine every day. 64 ounces of water a day? Whew. If I don't make that a, a mental goal in my head, it's easy not to make happen. So last week I said it was a habit, but it's a habit that I make the goal to make sure I make it a habit, right? Uh... Exercise. That's a goal. I have to set the goal. I'm going to the gym today. I'm going to run another 5K. I'm going to up my speed from 6 to 6.1. Um, so that's a goal I have to renew and set every day. And overall, staying on track. Staying focused, staying determined, knowing that my mental game is sharp, being strong, and getting to that finish line of the weight loss and then starting the maintenance. That is a, those things are something I process in my head every day and um, sometimes every moment. So, or a goal to make the right choice with food, you know, when I have to make a choice. So uh, I think this journey is about continuous goals all the time. Um, 10 years from now, I'll be 45. Um, I hope to be married. Um, I hope to be a mother. I hope to have experienced pregnancy with the lap band. I hope to be able to lose the pregnancy weight and be back at a maintained weight. 
When I think about 20 years from now, I'll be 55. So I'd like to think that uh, I'm looking forward to retirement. Uh, you know, a five to ten year span time there. Um, I'd like to think that I am um, uh, still happily married. I'd like to think that uh, I have children that are learning how to drive. Um, and I'm teaching them. Uh, and uh, 50 years from now, at 85, I'm probably, probably going to be close to dead. Um, my grandmother is still 94 and she's healthy, but um, 50 years from now, I'll be 85 years old. Um, so I hope to be as healthy as I possibly can be. And uh, I hope to be having grandchildren and uh, adult children and being the best mother and grandmother that I can possibly be. And friend. So anyway, uh, that's 10, 20, and 50 years for this gal. Um, and, you know, I have a lap band, so I hope that as the future goes on that I continue to maintain uh, being healthy uh, and that my lap band works with me and not against me. Um, and I don't have band slippage. I don't have stomach erosion. Um, I don't have any um, port problems. I don't have any leak problems. Uh, so that my tool operates the way that I hope it will. So anyway, uh, that's this week's topic. Goals, uh, have you made them? Are you achieving new ones? Are you setting new ones? And where do you see yourself 10, 20, and 50 years down the road with regard to weight loss surgery and your success? So thanks for watching. Feel free to make us a video and tell us about uh, where you are with goals. And uh, we have a vlogger spot open on Monday, so I'm going to get in touch with some of you uh, who had contacted me about the Fridays. Hoping to get the Friday uh, fill-ins started this week. And also, uh, we are running the LA uh, Revlon Run Walk for Women. Uh, it used to be for the breast cancer. Now it's for women's health in general. And uh, there's uh, several people from the weight loss community here on YouTube that are going to be involved. It's May 8th, 2010. So if you're interested in running or walking with us and being in L.A. in the middle of May, love to have you. Come on down. So I hope you're all doing great, having a super week, and making each choice count. Talk to you later. Take care.